guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first Etsy shop critique. So I recently sent out an email to all of my email subscribers asking if they would like me to review their shop. And I got a lot of great feedback. So I'm going to be critiquing Louisa's shop. It's called Lulupo Designs. Louisa, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And Louisa sells jewelry. I see there's a lot of clay jewelry and minimalist jewelry, and it's gorgeous. Louisa, I'm obsessed with your shop, and her shop is actually amazing. You're gonna see it in a moment. I do hope that this provides insight for you, Louisa, and everyone else who's watching. Remember that these are all suggestions. Don't take anything to heart. Um, you know, just maybe these are some things that you wanna implement, maybe, you don't want to implement them, so just take it or leave it. So before we jump in, I asked Louisa, when I reached out and I told her that I'd be reviewing her shop on my channel, I asked her what her biggest problem is with selling on Etsy. Where is she really struggling? Louisa said that her biggest issue has been pricing. It's hard to figure out if I'm charging high enough to make it believable that this is a quality product, but also not too high either. Okay, so we're definitely gonna address that during the shop critique. All right guys, so I'm gonna just jump right into this critique and I'm really excited, so I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so the first thing I see when I'm on your shop, Louisa, Lulubo Designs, you have this really nice banner image, which I love. It showcases your clay earrings and your minimalist earrings really well. I love this banner. I don't really think you need to change anything. I think it's a great representation of what we're about to see in your shop. I like that you have an image. Obviously, it's very important to have an image here. You can either have an image of yourself or your logo, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but I love it. I love that you're wearing your product in the photo. Um, I love that you have your this nice little tagline under here, which is a great use of SEO. You've made 483 sales and you've been on Etsy since 2016. That is great. You're doing great and you have five star reviews. This is a big one. So if anyone out there doesn't have five stars, really work on your customer service and really see what you're doing wrong because it's really important to have five stars on your Etsy shop. So I love that you have featured items and I love that you have your shop sections filled out over here. That's awesome. When I was looking at your shop earlier, I noticed that these minimalist triangle hoop earrings are one of your best sellers. So I'm wondering why you didn't choose to feature this up on your featured items section. Because if someone is finding you through, your, through a shop search or finding you through Google, um, then if this is one of your best sellers, then they might be interested in this Item. So I'm wondering, would it benefit you to put it in your featured item section? So let's just continue scrolling down. I love that these two items you put next to each other. It's a really good idea to put similar items side by side. And the reason is because if someone's scrolling and they're like, oh, I like these, but I wish they were more like let's say something right next to it, um, it really helps you make a sale, it really does. Because it, it, if it's something not quite what they're looking for, but then you have something else that they are looking for right next to it, um, that's really beneficial. You know, it, it, let's say you had these all the way down at the bottom and they were like, oh, this isn't exactly what I was looking for. They might stop right there. So, so batching items that are similar next to each other is a really great idea. You could probably do that a little bit more. I'm noticing that some of these minimalist items could probably be grouped together more. And you have a good amount of items in your shop. So yeah, right here on the second page, there are these square minimalist earrings. I would put these next to the triangular ones because if someone comes across your triangular earrings and they really like them, but they were looking for a square one, they wouldn't have to dig and search through your shop um, because they could potentially click off. They would just see the square minimalist earrings right next to them. So 
So my tip for you would be to actually rearrange your shop to where similar items are grouped next to each other. And an easy way to do that is actually to use these shop sections. So if you go to threader hoops, you would actually organize your shop like this. And then you would, the next section would be this, you know, based on what sells the most. So that's how I would handle that. Okay, so being that your triangle hoops are one of your best sellers, let's jump into that listing. So I love this photo, I really do. I think it's great. I think the background, you know, it's, you're not distracted. Um, you can really see the product and Assuming that they found these earrings through search, um, they know what they are, because I don't know necessarily if I would know what these are if I just found them randomly, but assuming people are searching for minimalist triangle hoop earrings, um, they'll know what that is, and I think it's great. It could actually be a little bit brighter. You can brighten it up a tad without blowing out the background. I think that would help your photo pop a little bit more. And I absolutely love how you're using a model. I think it's super important when you're selling jewelry or clothing, anything of that sort, that people really want to see it on. So I think this is great that you have it. What I would say is try to take more professional looking photos. I know you said one of your problems is that you have this quality product and you want to make sure that people are noticing that it's quality and that they're paying the quality price. Um, the best way to let people know that it's quality is actually by having really great photos. The more professional your photos are, the more higher quality they, your item seems to be. So yeah, like this one, I know you're trying to show the different sizes and I love that. I, that's a really important thing. So people aren't like, how big is this going to look in my ear? But what I would say is I can tell this is like bright sunlight or there's a bright light on her and there's like these shadows over here. You want to try to capture photos that are just more professional looking, more even out with the lighting. <clears throat> I think you could either try to do it yourself or even if you could hire a local photographer or college student, um, I think that would really help. Great. Okay, so let's take a look at your SEO. The first 40 characters are the most important when it comes to titling your product. So. Let me just see, um, I just used the character counter online and right here, minimalist triangle hoop earrings, though that's 33 characters. So that is your main long tail keyword. Okay, let's scroll down. Etsy says that your titles and tags should match and it should be exactly what people are typing into the search bar. So let's see if you did that. Triangle hoop. I'm not seeing minimalist earring here. Yeah, so Louisa, I would definitely think about adding a tag that is called minimalist earring. I'm actually gonna pull up a text edit right now. Okay, so min minimalist triangle hoop earrings. You have Triangle, okay, gold triangle hoop, sterling silver, rose gold filled, 14 karat. So I, I, I don't think anyone is searching 14 karat gold filled E-A-R-R. -R, so I, I would say um, to get rid of this tag and maybe replace this tag with minimalist earrings. Lightweight earrings, triangle open hoop, Threader earrings. Okay, um, so let's go. Let's go back up. Let's go to the search bar. Um, let's see. Minimalist. Okay, so minimalist earrings right here. Um, that is a the second most popular search on Etsy when you type in the word minimalist. So I think you should definitely include minimalist earrings in your tag. Minimalist triangle earrings. Okay, that, that could be one too. Minimalist triangle earrings. Do we have that one? I don't know if that's going to fit. 
Minimalist triangle might fit those, so you might want to um, use that as a tag, minimalist triangle. Hoop earrings, that's a huge search term. Let's do hoop earrings. Um, let's do triangle, triangle earrings is a big one too. Okay, so let's see, if I was to look for earrings like this, I would go to Etsy and probably search um, triangle hoop earrings. Let's see if you populate up. Oh, there you are. That's awesome. And see how a lot of, a lot of people are using model photos. This is what I would do. I would duplicate your listing and use your model photo for the main photo and don't touch your SEO. Don't touch your title or tag. So if you can take a more professional photo, um, try to do that. But in the meantime, I would definitely duplicate your listing and change the main photo to your model photo. And then I would even maybe duplicate it again, right? So duplicate your bestseller again and maybe keep the same photo, but include different tags. So include minimalist triangle, hoop earrings, triangle earrings, triangle hoop, and see how that listing does. Of course, this listing has all of the favorites and all of the purchase history, so this will outperform, but maybe in the other listing with the more um, direct tags, that might actually help you. And also, it's a good idea to duplicate your listings, I think, um, especially if you're changing up the photos because different things attract different people, right? So. Like this could actually be your same listing. Some people might be drawn to, to the model photo and some people might be drawn to this listing right here. Okay, so let's quickly look into your item details. I love that you list all the materials. I love that you have this little blurb about you and your shop. Um, over here, this is a great use of keywords. So that is great that you have this up top that's gonna help you rank. Um, I love that you list your um, care instructions out and I, I love the bullet points. I love that you use these triangles because these triangles are very on brand and they match your logo, so I love that. I love that you're clear about your shipping. Um, your shipping is competitive two to three days, that's great. And it's really low, so that also is, is great. One thing I would say is that you were concerned about pricing your item and making sure that you were pricing it competitively. You were still pricing it where you're making a good profit, but also you want people to know that your item is quality. So maybe you can mention it somewhere in here. Um, kind of mention that, I mean, the materials itself should call it out, but maybe mention somewhere in the beginning about how your jewelry is high quality. But also, like I said earlier, the higher quality your photos are, the more higher quality your items will be perceived. So photos are obviously a big one. I think you do a great job, but I just think a little extra work with the model photos um, would really help you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Louisa, 
I don't know how many times I can say it. your shop is awesome and thanks so much for allowing your shop to be my first critique. I hope this was helpful and you guys, I hope this was helpful for you too. I hope you got some good insight and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.